and welcome to Nitty Shells Craft Boxes. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these lovely scallop shell books. It's the box that you've all been waiting for. It's about book binding and how we're going to make this gorgeous uh, scallop shell book. Uh, a lot of people have said to me what a great uh, idea to use it as a photo album. Uh, for any sort of seaside holidays or even as like a wedding guest book um, there's so many things you can do in this book I guarantee no one else will have one so to do this we're going to use one of my uh, my newest uh, Nitty Shells craft box here it is da -da -da. let's open it up and see what we have inside um, business card Share me with your friends and family. Your instructions, which are going to be double-sided on this one. I've also done um, diagrams down the bottom uh, for you to follow, follow through on my step-by-step -step guide. Um, I strongly advise, though, that you watch this video because bookbinding is rather tricky. I've tried to show you through images, but actually watching uh, a video of myself doing it is going to help you uh, get better results. Okay, so obviously loads of the uh, paper in here. You get your two giant scallop shells, which have already been pre-drilled. Um, it's been quite difficult for me to find uh, shells that match up quite nicely because they always come in uh, different shapes and sizes. So each box I've tried to make sure that the shells will sit really nicely together to make a nice book. You get your owl, which is to uh, pierce uh, through your pages with your wax string and your uh, needle. Uh, I've given two different options of colour. You can either do it in the lovely purple colour or I've got a nice aqua. Lavender or aqua, you can choose uh, which um, colour you want. And you also get your uh, bone folder for getting a nice good crease on the pages when we're getting all of the paper ready to make our book. Um, so an extra thing that you will need for making uh, this shell book will be a pair of scissors um, otherwise I will get everything together and send you down in the down shot to get on with making. Okay so here we are um, with everything that we need and um, we've got our uh, 20 sheets of card, our pre-drilled giant scallop shells, wax string and needle our bone folder, our owl, and then uh, we also need a pen or a pencil and your pair of scissors for um, cutting. So the first thing that you're going to do is fold every single one of these pieces of paper in half. Okay, so you line up those edges and then use your bone folder to really give a good push. Okay, that's going to give you a sharp crease. So go ahead and do that for all 20 pieces of paper. There we have it. We've folded our 20 uh, pages in half and given it a really sharp um, fold using our bone folder. Uh, the next step we're going to do is to turn these pages uh, into signatures. Uh, a signature is just um, four uh, sheets put inside of each other. So if you take the first, put it into the second, and then pop that into a third, and then into a fourth, that is one signature. Go ahead and do that um, for the next four signatures. So in the end, you'll end up with uh, five signatures. Okay, you'll end up um, with five... Where is the camera? You'll end up with five signatures which is four pieces in each signature. Okay. Now then, these are going to look very funny inside 
of a scallop shell shaped book so next uh, job is to draw around and cut all of the paper into the shape of the shell um, I've already put them into signatures because um, last time I just about managed to cut through um, through the paper all, all of them at a time however if you are not so strong um, please feel free to go back a step and just do uh, piece by piece um, otherwise grab one of your shells I'd say generally get the smaller one if there is a smaller one these are so close in size I'd probably say this one's slightly smaller okay line up um, your edge on there um, on the spine should we say the spine of a shell and then you're just going to draw around like that do the same on the others drawn around next thing to do is to um, cut them all out um, I find when you're cutting if you cut uh, just inside of the line that you've made uh, that way it will sit inside the shell a little bit better if you see this one here when I first drew around and cut cut the paper it was all like really sticking out beyond the shell it didn't look so neat and um, so I actually spent quite a bit of time um, trimming them all trimming them all down a bit so it sat a bit nicer inside the shell okay so go ahead uh, and get cutting okay there you have it there's all my old pieces here is uh, what's going to be my book not going to lie it's quite difficult to cut through uh, a signature at a time if you find your hands uh, aren't so strong or your scissors are not up for the job then just go back a step take your signatures apart and cut each piece one by one and then you can just pop them all together again we can always trim trim them up again um, at a later time this can just be discarded okay so the next step we're gonna kind of put our book together to see how we want it to all sit we get one shell on one side and then your other shell on the other side okay you can see again why I said to cut it a bit smaller because again if we pointed it that way there's some coming out here we can trim all of these pieces up um, at the end and let us actually just flip this round it makes it better that way maybe I swap the shells around on the nope see I find it sits even worse like that you've got some sticking out there and some over there I'm going to go back to the first way that's how I like my book because then I can just trim down trim down one little side yeah I'll trim that bit off at the end okay we have our three holes which are going to go through here through here through here you're going to draw down your signature where's my edge we're going to draw down from imagine uh, going from that hole to that hole uh, we're just very lightly going to go over the signatures now that your signatures are in an order make sure you don't change the order from that hole to that hole which is kind of through the middle you know, ever so lightly just mark um, the fold on your signatures and again down that way I hope you can see what I'm doing right now so I want to focus on there I have made three lines in between those holes to those holes okay 
put the top shell, bottom shell, let's put the other one, top shell, bottom shell. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is make a hole um, on all of our dots. So again, keeping them in order, you can open up your signature like so and then you're going to poke your hole through. Uh, you need to work on a surface that doesn't matter if it gets poked by a needle. Uh, give me one second. I need okay. There we go. Oops, I haven't moved the camera. I've got a bit of wood. So again, trying to keep your signatures all nicely lined up. Take your owl. And poke some holes. Now then your needle isn't that thick, so they don't need to be quite such big holes. One, two, three. It's so much easier with an owl. When starting out, I was doing this with a needle and it was a nightmare. Right, you've got your holes in that one. Uh, is it that way? Yeah, okay, so let's just move that over to there. Let's go for the next one. I don't know really this one anymore. Okay, so again, this is how your book would be. Let me just think for a second. We want the bottom shell and the first signature. When we're working through, we're going to go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then the top shell. So you want your bottom, bottom shell, and your um, first signature to begin with. Let's go ahead and thread our needle. This string is waxed, so it should go through quite freely, but it will always snag, no matter what you use. So. When doing bookbinding, make sure that you work um, slowly, and if you get any snags, just go back and use them. Okay, here we go. Um, I have uh, tried to draw pictures of your five signatures in a row with your top and your bottom shell, with your one, two, three holes. Um, and written instructions on going from the inside to the outside and so on. Um, your first um, thread is going to go oops, yeah, from the outside, sorry, inside to the outside. Am I still in shot? I keep losing that. Every time I shift, I'm losing it. There we go. Right, first thread goes from inside to outside on this um, first signature, all the way down to your knot. Then go through your hole and the bottom shot. Working slowly. around the thread that you've just made in here so go around okay and then back into your hole Next one that you're coming out is the middle one. Go from inside and to outside. Make sure it sits over nicely. Then you're going to go inside your shell. The outside like so. 
then you want to go around again. Go in and out so you go around. In and out around that, and then back into your signature. Hopefully, without poking through the string. And yep, I've managed to go in between. Okay, down to your next, uh, your next hole. Inside to outside. Down through your shell heart. And this time we're going to go into our next signature. So pick it up, bring it over as you wanted your book. And you're going to go into this top one, this next one. Come out your middle one. So this next step you're going to go around, you're going to go around uh, this connection that you made before. So go, if you have the curved ones it's so much easier, but you might have to just poke it in and then come back out around the one below. Okay, so we've gone around the connection between the first signature and the bottom one, and then we go back into back into our second signature. This is where we go down the next hole. Okay, we're going to go, this time again, we're going to go around the um, connection between the first signature and the bottom shell. Go around, we're going to wrap around that, and then you'll go into our third signature.
Okay, same theory again. Oops, I don't know how well you can see this. But we're going to go through the one below. So between the first signature and the second signature. So if we go in between, move a needle, and move it out. Oh my, this is so fiddly. I bet there's other professional book binders that are all laughing at me right now. Okay, so around that previous one, and back in. I love this middle pattern, it starts looking really cute. Out oh, your last hole. Around the one below, again between the um, first and the second signature. To your next one. Carry on just like this for this next signature, same as you've done on the last two. second and the third. out the last one. I hope you're all there still with me. the last one. Okay, this is our last signature. Okay, when we get to the last signature, <laughs> do so when we get to the last signature, you're going to need to add on um, the top shell as well, because instead of going directly in, we need to add on uh, both of these at the same time. Once you've uh, looped around the bottom on the last time we would normally go into the next signature, instead we're going to go through um, the top of the shell from the outside to the inside. Okay, loop around this. Okay, and then we go into uh, signature number five. Okay, so back into where are we now? Signature five. We want to come back out the middle. Not 
I made a little signature five. Now we're going to go around the bottom and then around the top. So in between signatures uh, three and four. Then we're going to go top shell. Yeah. From outside to inside. Around this again. And then head on back into signature five. Oh, I need it all the way in this time. Almost there, look. Same again, round the bottom. And then round the top. Through the top, then round the top. Outside to inside. Go around one more time. To tie this off is very simple. Just go under, make a knot. Right, do one more. Two half hitches. You only really need to do one, but. And voila, there is your um, bound book. You can go ahead now and um, tidy up the outside edge. This one I probably cut down a little bit. That's why I say do it a little bit smaller, then it sits nicely inside. Keep doing that till you're happy. There you have your book. Thank you for watching. Okay, congratulations. You have now made your very own scallop shell book. Um, these are again are amazing as photo albums um, of a beach holiday, maybe for a wedding as a guest book. Um, the book binding that we've used is Coptic binding, which means that the shell will lay um, flat when you have it open. Lovely. Well done. Um, these boxes are now available on my website at www.nettyshells.com. Um, I only have a limited number available, so please don't delay in grabbing these. Uh, a few have already gone as they were reserved. Um, so yes, don't delay. Thank you very much for watching my instructional how-to video. Thank you, even my cat says thank you. <laughs> And don't forget to click uh, subscribe below to my YouTube channel uh, for all of my new shell crafts, uh, which will be coming out soon. My newest one, which will be next, hopefully, is these gorgeous dream catchers. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. I've been um, improving my um, dream catcher making 
I've improved the string and the layout. Um, I've started boxing these up already. Um, I will be offering a pink, a pink and purple version, this green and blue version, and then also like a natural, natural colours one. So subscribe. This is the next box that's coming soon. Thank you. Bye. My shiny book.